My name is Bellamy Taylor. I am a division agent, and after a while away, I have returned to Washington, which has been taken over by Black Tusk. And it's up to me and many other agents to face them while also having to deal with a rogue agent. We are the division. Pilot? Uh, I'm heading out. I'll see you later. Yeah, this place is classified. No one would know what we're doing here. Please, take a seat. Let me show you something. What is it, Commander? So we have multiple division comm centers around the city. And depending how close you get to it, it can uh, pick up your division ID. And recently, it picked up. A rogue agent. Watch. Um, okay, but we had plenty of those before. We never had to go to a classified location. What's so different about this rogue? We picked up the rogue agent's ID as Violet Johnson. She was in New York six months ago. She killed a good agent named Alan Stryker. She killed him with an enhanced sniper rifle. But the thing is, she came back around the same time another agent did, who was absent without leave. His name was Bellamy Taylor. I remember that name. He um, was here before at the White House. I heard he was a good soldier along with his brother. What happened? His brother died. Um, no reports, he got cancer and decided to take the easy way out. And after that, Bellamy was gone. No word, left everything behind, he just left. And now, he's back, and also a rogue has come into the city. Now that is suspicious to me. It could just be a coincidence. Those can happen. Could be right. Bellamy could be innocent, and this rogue was just passing by, and it's already left Washington, D.C. Or I could be right. The thing is, Bellamy Taylor is not staying at the White House or any division outpost. He is somewhere else. So we could find out where he is staying, and maybe I'll let this go. But the thing is, he's been going missions by himself, so we need to find him a teammate. And I know a man just with the job, someone I can trust get the job done, and if Bellamy is working with this rogue, then this soldier will take care of him and the rogue. Very well, sir. Let's get to work, then. There it is. <sighs> I'm back here. It was like just yesterday, I was standing up here with you. <laughs> Can't believe it's been six months already. It would be so much easier if you were here. We'll be taking on Black Tusk together. <laughs> on a mission. I saw a bunch of soldiers and I was giving out orders. And I said your name. I said, Vic, go take that side, but then I realized you're not there, and I was by myself. That's happened to me a few times. I could really also use your help with this rogue business. Let's just go. I don't know. I don't know why I'm helping. Maybe I should just turn her in, but I don't know, brother. Really use you. Oh, 
Were you waiting for me? I didn't know you left. It was early in the morning, but I... I just talked through the door. I sh should have made sure you heard. Um, I'm sorry. Wait, hold on. Is that my... Is that my sweater? It got cold and I don't have many things to wear. Sorry, I should have asked you first. No, um, it's alright. Um, at the White House, they have plenty of clothes. I can see if I can pick some up for you uh, tomorrow morning. Thank you, Bellamy. You're too kind. Uh, it's no problem. Um, I'm just here to help. Whatever way I can. Um, uh, I'm gonna get some shut-eye. I'll see you tomorrow.